Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. I'm in the process of embedding a Google Map onto my website and what I found was that if you use the default code provided by Google Maps and you embed the map on your website, what happens is the embedded iframe is fixed. So you can't change the size of it when you resize your window so what that means is if you try to view this web page on a mobile okay it's basically going to look like this so half the map is going to be cut off and you have to scroll left and right on your mobile phone in order to see the map or you're going to zoom in and zoom out on your mobile phone which is very annoying so what I'm going to show you guys is how to turn this iframe into a responsive iframe so that it changes the width according to how big your window is. So in order to show you what it looks like, I've already got an example on my website. So if you go to magicmonktutorials.com slash travel slash korea.html just click just enter that link and you'll see that this is what we're trying to achieve a map that is responsive so you can see if I make it smaller it becomes small if I make it bigger it gets bigger okay so it wraps it changes the width of the map according to how you resize your window Okay, so to get this to work, I'm basically going to show you step by step how to do it in Dreamweaver. So let's create a whole new page. Okay, let's just go to Dreamweaver, create a blank new page, and you should see that your page will start with this code. Okay, this is the default structure of an HTML file. It just says that here's HTML the root of the document here's the head section here's the body section and so on so I'm gonna get the code from Google Maps so I'm gonna go click this link um, embed on my site copy this code from Google Maps and I'm just gonna put it in the body section between body and slash body of my web page okay and then I will show you what it looks like so I'll upload it onto my website and show you what it looks like so it's at travel career responsive tutorial so feel free to come to this page later when I've done it of course and grab the code for how it works but right now you can see it's not working if I make the window smaller or narrower then it's gonna cover up the map and it doesn't look good on your phone okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna import some code to enable bootstrap so basically between the head and the slash head section is where you can import bootstrap into your page so you can use all the pre-coded classes to turn your page into a mobile friendly responsive page so I'm just going to paste the code um, from another page so basically it looks like this I'm gonna paste it just underneath title so there are four lines you need okay the first line specifies that you want the content to be um, to have a zoom scale of one according to how wide your device is so that's just making sure your page is going to be um, not zoomed in or, in or out like crazy when you view it on your mobile and then these lines of code is basically importing your bootstrap CSS library um, I will paste these four lines onto the video description so you don't need to know how these work you just need to know that you need to copy and paste them onto your page and then what you're gonna do so these lines are inside 
in between head and slash head. So then what you're going to do is now in the code, you can now use bootstrap. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this iframe inside a bootstrap container. So I'm going to type in bracket div class equals container hyphen fluid. Okay, so once you do that, What's going to happen is this iframe, you can now make it um, respond to the width of your page. Okay, so, but if you try to view this page right now, it's still not going to be responsive. So if you try to view this on the internet right now, it's going, it's still going to be, um, hang on. it's still not responsive, right? So you need to change your code a bit. So what I'm gonna do is, now that it's inside a container fluid, I'm gonna get rid of this width equals 640. Okay, so I don't specify a width. So what happens when you do that? If you have a look, what happens when you do that is, it doesn't know what width you want it, so it's just got a very small width. But that's not what we want either. We want the width to change according to how wide my window is. So then what you're going to do is you're going to add a class inside the iframe. Okay, and you're basically going to use the bootstrap grid system. Now what the bootstrap grid system does is it divides the page into 12 vertical columns. So you're going to say col columns hyphen xs meaning that we want this to work even under the smallest device, extra small device and then hyphen and now is where you specify how many columns does this iframe take up? It's going to take up the whole page, so 12 columns. You'll understand more about columns in a second. So if I save this, put it on my website, look what happens now. If I refresh this page, it now takes up the whole width of the page. And if I resize my page, the map resizes with it. Okay, you can see that the page no longer covers up the map. Okay, so another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this inside. So inside iframe class equals, I'm going to place this inside a well and well hyphen SM. So that just means I'm going to have a small well, which is basically what the border looks like. So it just specifies this border right here around my map. I'm going to make it look a bit better. So it looks like a well. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it looks a lot better and it is definitely responsive now. Okay, so you might say, well, what if I want some text next to the map? So what if I want some text on the right, just some small text? So then what you can do is you can add in a row, div class equals row, um, and then you're going to put in slash div after the iframe, and then just before the iframe or just after the iframe, you can now insert another div with a class. Now this takes up 12 columns, so I can make this take up Actually, it's not going to work. So let's just let's just fix the indenting because it's annoying me. So let's indent a little bit. Indent. Um, so we got row. We got iframe slash iframe twelve. Okay, indent a bit, and then that belongs to that. Okay, so now inside this section. I'm just going to put in some text. So I'm just going to put in 
some random text now if you just do that okay and you save it have a look at what it looks like This is the file. Yep. If I refresh that, it's the hello text appears underneath the map, but that's not what we want. We want it to appear on the right hand side. So instead of both taking up 12 columns, which is the whole width of the page, I can make this take up, let's say, eight columns, and this can take up four columns because a row always has 12 columns, 12 straight lines down. So this is going to take up eight columns. This is going to take up four columns, save, upload. And now if you have a look, okay, you can see this section takes up approximately eight out of 12 columns. This section takes up approximately four out of 12 columns. So you can play with these numbers as long as these two numbers add up to 12, it's going to work. So let's make it 10 and 2. Save. And let's have a look on the page, see what it looks like. Okay, you can see this section's two columns, this section is 10 columns. So it automatically wraps. I mean, it automatically adjusts the width of the map to your screen, which is really good. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.